I want this to be clear. I have absolutely no problem with someone following a vegan diet, although some of you might believe that and you might be a little right. I also have absolutely no problem with someone taking steroids. The issue stems from people, how you say, not minding their own business. Hey, if you want to follow a vegan diet till your face falls off, go ahead. But when you start having seizures, you know, your girlfriend has a miscarriage, your child's growth is stunned, they get taken away by CPS, it becomes a bit of an issue, doesn't it? Same with people taking steroids and not being honest about it. Oh yeah, bro, I bench 800 pounds, all natty, totally, 700 for reps, lightweight baby! Catch you in the sauna later, bro. Both of these groups of people are using an illusion to sell you products, food, supplements, and meal plans, whatever it may be. They are a bunch of dishonest liars. And the term butt buddy is very suitable. I mean, they like spending time with each other in the sauna. You know, they play with various pins and needles with each other's butts. And they defend each other at any expense because they're butt buddies. Now, now there is a contrast between the vegan butt buddies and the carnivore ooh -wee, butt buddies. And, uh, you know, depending on whether you're into, uh, you know, fairy boys or, or muscle men, that's up to you. When you combine the two, the vegan diet and performance enhancing drugs, you have a conflict of interest to say the least. You have a diet that will cause you to waste away at the hands of various nutrient deficiencies, especially B vitamins and omega fatty acids. Then you have synthetic laboratory substances that allow superhuman feats. Someone taking steroids, even when on a vegan diet, if using modern plant protein powders, is able to achieve strength and physique far beyond what is naturally possible. If either of these factors didn't exist, you know, vegans would waste away just like the average person does when they go vegan. Without synthetic protein powders that turn these indigestible plant foods into available amino acids, and without the hormones to create unnatural muscle and strength, they would be just like every other skinny, fat, vegan, soy boy schmuck. Although, that's what some of you want, and then you want to put him in a dress and fantasize about it. These vegan bodybuilding clown butt buddies have been around for a while, but now with the Game Changers documentary taking off, they seem to have even more funding behind them, pushing the agenda of plant-based performance. At what point do you think they're gonna realize they're pushing their luck? They lie about the health prospects of a vegan diet, the environment, the moral aspects. Now they went full 180 and they're saying you can be strong, muscular, athletic on a diet that literally results in the opposite. In my Game Changers review, I already debunked every single athlete, if you can call them athletes. They were either forced to retire due to performance issues or have been finishing last in their recent competitions. The smart ones, such as Novak Djokovic, went back to eating fish, while Patrick Baboumian is shitting his pants in his vegan delusion, fantasizing about playing with Brian Shaw's balls. I'm sure a lot of vegan fairy boys are doing that. So let's take a look at the vegan butt buddies in this picture. First, we have Chris Moore, and by all means, I think his physique is obtainable as a natural bodybuilder with decent genetics, but all of these vegan bodybuilders are doing the same thing on their Instagram. They're saying they looked and felt terrible when they were eating meat. Now suddenly they go plant-based and they are super muscular and fit. If we go back to the beginning of his Instagram, he claims he started veganism in June of 2017, transforming his physique dramatically by December of 2017. And this is an exceptional transformation by anybody, regardless of drug usage, but literally impossible as a vegan. A vegan diet does not provide adequate nutrition to synthesize muscle tissue, let alone lose fat at the same time. If you were to use steroids and consume amino acid packed protein powders, that's a different story though. What makes this unrealistic is the one year difference from June of 2017 to June of 2018. Where he went from being a limp fairy boy to a chiseled statue. If this was the truth, 
there would be more than five muscular vegan people on this planet. <laughs> like, like, like there's literally five of them. Like, come on. Then we have Semnit Nutrition. And as with most of these vegan bodybuilders, the level of muscle is achievable for a natural bodybuilder eating meat. So if we go back to February of 2015, Simnet is looking much less impressive, higher body fat, less muscle. Later that year in September, he leaned out quite a bit and put on a significant amount of muscle, allegedly on a vegan diet. In April of 2016, he looks much larger, probably put on over 20 pounds of muscle since his first picture in February, which has only been a year. Then if we look at November of last year, more than three years later, he has a similar amount of muscle mass. I would suspect he's on, you know, TRT or a maintenance dosage of hormones. And he started back in 2015 where there was a significant gain in muscle over an unrealistically short period of time. I don't think he's blasting like juice head Delgado though. On to Brian Turner. We see the vegan versus meat eater comparison, in this case with his acne. Brian put on most of his muscle before going vegan. Here he is in April 2015 with a similar amount of muscle to what he has now. And I would speculate that he's using a low dosage of something to maintain his muscle mass. It appears that you need low doses of steroids as a vegan to get the muscle mass of a normal person eating meat. Then the vegan trainer claims he's been vegan since 2010, but he doesn't have any pictures before 2019. But we are seeing similarities between all of these people. Above average physiques likely obtained with performance enhancing drug usage and plant-based protein powders. Here we have John Venus doing the same acne thing that Brian Turner was doing. And he takes it a step further claiming a plant-based diet will make you that muscular. Oh really? I can put on 40 pounds of lean body mass in four years just by going vegan? I mean, I guess we have to take it a step back considering Johnny Boy loves his eggs. But just like these other vegan monkeys, he had a similar amount of muscle mass three years ago. It seems like steroids and a vegan diet can only take you so far. Even so, Back in 2014, before he was vegan, when he was channeling Frankie Boy Hair, he seemed to have established all of his muscularity when he was eating meat. The last guy in this picture, plant-based Ben, is an actual indicator of what you would look like without steroid usage or establishment of muscle mass on a meat-eating diet. He's lean, looks relatively healthy, but doesn't have an unobtainable amount of muscle mass, at least in the context of a vegan diet. These guys are able to get away with injecting each other's tushies and, and claiming it's the vegan diet because you have juice boys like Nimai using 10 times the amount of drugs, which makes him look like a souped up gorilla. Nimai is an example of performance enhancing drug use on a professional level, copious amounts of different substances, whereas these other vegans are on lower maintenance dosages and using it to create an illusion of health. They lie about the benefits of the vegan diet. They lie about the environment. They lie about the moral aspects. Why wouldn't they lie about what else they're doing? As I said earlier, there is a reason there are only five muscular vegan dudes on this planet. It's likely because a vegan diet doesn't provide enough cholesterol for testosterone synthesis long term, but that's a whole nother story. It seems like you know, vegans are shifting the problem to protein as opposed to looking at the real issue, the testosterone, the cholesterol. You know, they can plug all the amino acids into their bodies that they want and they don't build muscle until they start injecting testosterone. And I think there's an interesting parallel between the carnivores -wee, and the vegans in a sense that both of these diets will tank your testosterone. You know, whether it's the hormones in soy and plant-based foods or the hormones in estrogenic feedlot beef, Either way, these people are getting you to inject testosterone, TRT, very lucrative, profitable business. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Of course, guys, please share the video. I work very hard every day to entertain you guys. Uh, you can go to Frankie's Free Range Meat for high quality animal foods. We just launched uh, some fresh beef uh, this week. We had two cows slaughtered, fresh, never frozen, local New York beef. No antibiotics, no pesticides, no hormones, none of that stuff. The purest meat you can get, frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, and frank-stefano.com for one-on-one -on -one health consultations.
Thanks again for joining me, guys. Have a good night.